Hello and welcome to episode 2 of the Morrowind game series. Let's uh, dive in right where we left off last time. <clears throat> I took one look back at Sedanine. One last look before I set off on the road. And then I remembered my own advice. The road is all well and good, but I should keep an eye out for reagents alongside the road. I would need them once I found some equipment to get started making potions. Because that was one thing that I remember being very good at. collecting herbs, I heard a scream, and then I saw a man fall out of the thin air and die on the ground. I ran up to him to check him out, and he had some rather impressive gear, an enchanted sword, some very nice robes, and some magic scrolls, along with a little bit of gold. Also, he was laying near a journal that bore a name, and I supposed it was his own. I opened it up and took a look at it, and then found out that he was a mage, who was trying to craft a different way of flying, but it seemed like he probably should have stuck to the more traditional version. With my bound dagger at my side, it seemed that I was much more of a match for the accursed mud crabs. Maybe my skills hadn't rusted as much as I thought. Or maybe they still had, being that I was almost taken down by a performer for the future. I spied some more in the grass.
amidst all of the plants and mushrooms that I was gathering, I found the body of an Imperial. Might as well check him out too. Ah, he was a tax collector. Probably killed by someone who didn't want to pay their taxes. There was a record. I decided I should check it out. Hmm. Perhaps there would be a reward for his body, or at least news of his death, back in Sedanine. I guess I could check that out before I head off to Balmora. As I came back into town, I spotted one of the people on the list who had not paid their taxes, and thought I would see what they had to say. My patience is limited. Hmm, she had no reaction that would indicate that she was a part of it. Although she did tell me that I should probably see the head of the Census and Excise Office. Perhaps I would have to do that. Although I thought I would question a Any few of the time others now. first. Can we hurry this along? Greetings and salutations! Fargoth also showed no reaction, and honestly did not seem like the type to do such a thing. The type to dodge taxes for sure, but not the type to murder over them. Warren Gilneth was another person who had not paid his taxes. At this time of the day, he should be at his home, so I will go in and check him out. I couldn't believe it. He confessed directly to me. He didn't care at all that he was responsible for the murder of that tax collector. I have no problem stealing from a man, but murdering someone in cold blood for doing their, bond, their job, that was something that sat ill with me. Also, perhaps if I was to kill this man, my reward would be greater when I turned him over to the census and excise office. Die, Fetcher! Aye!
you're beaten. No escape. We danced around each other for several minutes. My skills were complete garbage. I was very, very upset at how weak I was from my time in prison. But I proved victorious over this murderer. Hmm. He had stolen a very nice ring. I would bet from the tax collector. I would hold on to that. Having found the murderer, and then also killed him in turn, it was time for me to head to the census and excise office to extract whatever reward I could find. Can you ask your question quickly? Excellent. The 500 gold reward on top of the meager gold I found in the murderer's shack, as well as the gold that I found on the tax collector himself, set me up pretty nicely. I had quite the little fortune going. stranger. I thought I would head back over to Ariel's trade house and see if perhaps I could find myself some armor.
Welcome. Care to talk? It felt good to have some armor on. I thought that I would have a real chance at this point of making it somewhere. Go ahead, stranger. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. If there is anything I can do, I am humbly at your service. I thought this time I should probably head straight to Balmora. Luckily, the journey there, I felt, would be less eventful. Having reached Balmora, we're going to have to go ahead and end the episode. Thank you all for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like on the episode. If you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.